Hi friends, uh, this is an updated tutorial for training stable diffusion with your own photographs and um, it's just that Google changed something and now you can't really download stuff from Google Drive but actually it became so much easier and faster so I'm going to share this with you. So if you go to Chris.art helpers, I made a helper for you to make it even easier for you. And then if you go to RunPod and you log in and you just need to um, rent a pod and just make sure that it has at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And here, as you remember, if you watched my previous tutorial and if you didn't, it's okay too. You just choose, uh, you can choose now RunPod Stable Diffusion 1.5 or RunPod Stable Diffusion uh, version 4, 2. I will choose this one because um, I already tested it and I know that it works here. And then I choose 60 and 60 and make sure you do it in this order. So because if you choose this after this will uh, have default values. So just check that your total disk space is 112 gigabytes and you can press continue and deploy on demand. And now just go to uh, my run pods. So one of the things also that um, I learned that is not present in previous tutorial is that when you uh, rent a pod and when you finish working, you have to delete it. So a lot of people thought that just stopping it is fine, but it's actually not enough and it charges you money, so you have to actually delete it. And I will show you at the end of the tutorial how to uh, delete it, but just make sure it's not present here. It's like all the pods I deleted because then um, it won't charge you anything. Now when it finished uh, initializing, you can press connect. And choose connect to Jup Jupiter Lab, and here we go. We choose Python three, just as before. So, and here uh, you can go to my helper and just copy this line and paste it here, and paste it with Control V, um, and then press enter just make sure you paste it with control v because uh, if you paste cell something else will happen just use control v or, or command v if you're on mac so after this happened you will see dream booth stable diffusion and before we go into dream booth stable diffusion i just want to show you something so if you go here you can see this and this is actually the model that we need and we are going to return to this when we do a few steps so you don't need to copy it from google drive anymore because you can actually copy it from this folder and just rename it and it is going to work so but first i will go to dream booth run pod jobana and i will run this first uh, iteration and I will just wait. So while this is uh, going through, and if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, you will see a number. Now you see a star, but you will see a number uh, when it's finished. And while this is happening, we will not lose our time and we will just go down and we are going to create a folder called training images. We'll just do it here, like new folder, Call it training images and this is where we need to put our images our photographs that we will use for training so today I'm going to train it on my friend's dog that unfortunately passed away this summer and he asked me to create some uh, like cyberpunk um, images of his dog Johnny. Johnny was quite old, he had a really good life and he just wanted to celebrate his life in this way. But these screenshots that he sent me, as you can see, they are not square 
and um, it's better to train on squares and the size of squares is 512 512 and also PNG for file format so there is a great website you can go to called Birma and you can just you can just copy these files and paste them here and then make sure with and heights is 512 by 512 and just look if if the framing is right because you we want journey to be in the center and i think cut out like if something is cut out the face i guess is the most important thing so i'll just make sure like i include his eyes and as much as i can of him and then i will do save a zip and here we go so I'm just going to extract it first uh, on my hard drive and then I will just copy those uh, images to that folder that I just showed you so this these are the images they are all square and they are all PNG I think uh, let's check the PNG thing is kind of important yes they are png 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 if they are not png if you have jpegs you can also go to this other website i love images and you can turn uh, convert jpegs into pngs but i don't have to do it because mine were already um, pngs so i will just make sure those are the correct images and now important thing is when you select them look how many images you have it has to be an even number so it's like 10 12 14 16 and so on and i will just copy those images here and i will let some time so they are copied and by the time I did that, I'm pretty sure that uh, this is finished. You see there is a number over here, there used to be a star. And here we don't have to do anything here because we already have um, our actual stable diffusion in that folder. But we need to move it. So go to workplace. Uh, if you were in stable diffusion, just click here. And then click to stable diffusion and you can just take this and move it back to workspace so this way it's right here and then move it back to dream booth and here here it is ckpt this is the model this is 1.5 uh, model and i find it's one of the best models i've tried and let's uh, rename it we need to rename it and call it model yeah here you don't have to do this because we are going to download pre-generated regularization images and here i usually just delete this v because if you don't delete it nothing bad will happen but it's going to be a lot of lines following you can try if you want but i prefer deleting it so it's like really co compact and i can see that like receiving objects and just wait until all these images are downloaded but while this is happening we can we can move to uh, next our next step uh, and just prepare don't click anything just prepare like project name I'm going to call this um, Johnny Johnny dog and this max training steps so if you remember last um, tutorial if you watched it what we would do we will multiply 12 or the number of images whatever number of images you have by 101 um, and then class word well here it's a dog and here I would just call it Johnny and those words that will be Johnny and then I would write dog for uh, prompts when, when, when I finish training. So let's check on our regularization images. Yes, everything is downloaded and we will go to training and now we are ready to train and I am almost a hundred percent sure when we press this that there may be some kind of mistake 
Um, I don't know why, but every time I do it, I always get exactly the same mistake and I learned how to get rid of it. So I usually write this command and then I kill processes. So if it happens to me right now, I will show you what to do. And if not, I am going to explain to you what you will do if something like this happens to you. So you see, this is runtime arrow CUDA out of memory and exactly what I was talking about. So if this error or some other errors come, sometimes what you need to do is you need to open a terminal and then just copy this command ps aux. I usually just type it and then press enter and it will show you all the processes. And what you need to do is yours may be different. So you need to find um, several processes. So first one, you need to find this kind of Python relauncher and usually it's 10 or 11, but you need to find which number it is and write kill um, 10. And then everything that has web UI in it, like 24, yours may be different. So make sure you check which number goes with which process. Like this one is 26. Yeah, and you, you just kill those processes. And if you want to check if you killed them, it's like this. And they are, they are gone. They are gone from this list. And then you can go back to Jimbooth run pod and just try to run this training again. So I found that usually helps me resolve it. Just um, make sure that the processes are right ones because the numbers can be different. Like every time the computer may assign different numbers, just see that it's like those web UI uh, processes and relaunch are gone. So now the way you will know that it's going fine is that you will see this and you will also see this number. So here we are. I went for a cup of decaf coffee and I can see that the training complete and it says max training steps reached or blue or we blew up, which is, I find it really funny because it's so like, it could work, it could not, but I think it did work. We called it Johnny, we called it the token Johnny, and then the other word was dog. And now we can just make sure you copy this. You press copy and name the checkpoint file. And it's really quick, but what it does, it actually creates this model and it puts it in trained models folder. So here it is Johnny dog. 12 training images. That's exactly what we did. And then let's try to run um, this model at least once to just see what we are getting. Outputs apparently isn't the outputs I was looking for. So we are going to dim booth outputs, text to image samples. And here it is. So if you do this and just download and download multiple files, we're just going to check if, um, yeah, I can see that this is like a really fine art uh, picture um, of Johnny. It looks very similar to the pictures that we've got, but if you put any like cyberpunk prompts, you will get um, great looks and I recommend your website called Lexica where there are lots of examples of uh, different prompts that you can use. So now before I close uh, RunPod, uh, go to train models and make sure you download this model. You know, unfortunately, because Google uh, Drive doesn't let um, this use it anymore you will have to actually wait until it downloads and sometimes it takes like 15 minutes or 20 minutes so you just have to wait and just make sure it downloads it all of it because sometimes i find when it downloads maybe internet connection isn't too good and it just breaks so just make sure that it's 
completely download it. And to do that, you can also kind of look uh, that the size is two gigabytes. So when it downloads, just check that the size of downloaded model is also two gigabytes. But you will see here, if no mistakes occurs, you will just see this file downloaded. So, and after that, the only thing that you need to do uh, when it finishes downloading, let's make sure it's finished before you delete um, a run port. I'm just going to wait till it uh, downloads and then I will show you how to delete a uh, run port just in case you don't know. So after you uh, downloaded this model it's you can use it with your own local stable diffusion or you can keep using it with run port but just don't forget to get to the my ports and to make sure you first stop it stop pod and then don't forget to terminate it because if you just stop it and keep it it will keep taking your money and it's something i didn't know i didn't know i had to do it and then my money ran out and i figured out you have to terminate it so it's deleted and you don't have it at all so hopefully it was helpful i think it's much easier to use um, training models and run pod and stable diffusions right now but if you have any questions, please write it in comments or connect with me on Facebook or Instagram, anywhere. I'm happy to help and have a lovely day.